Hi, I'm Bob. Density plots use Carnot's moving to visualize the distribution of a continuous variable. They are similar to histograms, but have a smooth curve instead of bars. Today, I will continue to use the PSID dataset I created and show you some kernel density plots and modify them. You can download the dataset from the link below. The variable hourly wage is for the average hourly wage and salaries in 2016 for each worker between 25 and 54 years of age in the United States. In the last video, we generated histograms for the hourly wage variable. In this video, let's create the kernel density plots for it. We use the graph 2 way command. Inside the bracket, we use the k-density command. Here's the density plot for the hourly wage. Hourly wage values are on the x-axis. The density is on the y-axis. A high value of density represents a higher concentration of observations. We can see that the hourly wages are concentrated in around $19. We can shade the area underneath the density plot to emphasize it. To do that, we use the recast option. The band width and the kernel function can change the shape of density plots significantly. Smaller bandwidth leads to more detail, and large bandwidth leads to less detail. We use the B width option to modify the bandwidth. Let's try the bandwidth of 10. It has less detail. Let's change it to 1. The density plot has more detail. When it comes to the kernel function, the Epernikov kernel function and the Gaussian kernel are frequently used because they provide a smoother vision. The Epernikov is the default kernel function. We can specify another kernel, such as Gaussian, by using the kernel option. When we compare multiple distributions, we can use overlapping density plots. To generate the overlapping plots, we can write each density command in each bracket of the graph two way command. Let's generate two new hourly wage variables. One is for the workers whose parents maintained married status during their childhood. The other is for the workers whose parents divorced or separated during their childhood. The graph looks not good because we could not see the overlapping areas for both plots. To solve it, we can draw semi-transparent graphs using the color option. Here we are. That is a nice graph. We can identify what happens in the overlapping part of the distribution. We can draw overlapping plots for more than two densities in the same way. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next.